I go in the bathroom, I change. Like 10 minutes goes by, and she's still not upstairs. So I decided to go downstairs. You could see the light on in the bathroom. As I'm walking to the bathroom, you can hear whispering, but arguing. So now I just have the most uneasy feeling in my stomach. So I'm pacing in front of the door, pacing. Like, what should I do, what should I do? I even put my ear up to the door. According to Jamie, Charlie goes ballistic. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Who are you talking to? Stop. Give me your phone. Give me your phone or I'll put you in the damn rose garden. Nope. He started grabbing me, trying to grab my phone. He said, give me your phone. Um, he started with it. He was going to kill me. It's like Vince. Let's yeah. call Vince. He dragged me out of the bathroom. Hello? 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 You know, whatever he was saying, I just remember him, I'll kill you. Um, if I can't have you, no one can. I finally broke free. Where are you going? Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? No one can hear you scream now. Then he caught me again. And he started choking me there. He was choking me so hard that he lifted me off the ground. Jamie frantically reaches behind her and finds a weapon. Get off! Get off! Get off! Yeah, a girl likes to play with knives, huh? Go there with oh, yeah, come on. I... Oh, I believe it, baby. Let's go. Oh, you want to kill each other? You want to kill each other? Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's do this tonight. I had it in my right hand, and he was on top of me. I couldn't see, but I could hear. And then I couldn't hear, but I could see. I just remember turning my head and and right in his um, left bicep. Jamie plunges the knife into her husband's arm. The knife hits an artery, and Charlie's blood starts spraying everywhere. At least, that's the way she saw it. Charlie tells the entire story a little differently. I grab the door, it's not even locked. I open up the door, and she's standing in front of the mirror. You just, you know that deer in headlights look? That's the look she gives me. And I look at her and I'm like, who are you on the phone with, Jamie? This is why I hate you. I want a divorce. Who are you talking to? I said, you're cheating on me. I said, you're cheating. I said, who are you on the phone with, Jamie? You're cheating on me. No! Give it to me. No! Give it! No! It's... Hello? Hello? So I just take off. I just leave the bathroom and leave her in the bathroom. Really? Now I'm trying to call her back. I'm like, hello, hello, hello. Hello. And he keeps hanging up. Hello, hello. It keeps hanging up. Hello. He keeps hanging up. I'm looking through the messages. She comes from behind and was able to like jump on like on my back and was able to get the phone out of my hand. Ah, Give me the phone. Stop fighting. Ah. She takes a knife and then stabs me this way and says, get off my phone and then comes back and stabs me this way, right here. Ah! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like, you gotta call 911. She's just like, F you die, I hope you die. F you, F you, I die. I need to get to a hospital. I need to get to a hospital. So I was like, oh my gosh, I see the keys to the truck. So now I grab the keys and I run out the door. put the key in the ignition, no, no. and all of a sudden, the passenger door opens up on the truck, and she's coming in, and I'm like, well, maybe she's coming to help me, or maybe she's coming to stab me again. I'm really not sure. Then, according to Charlie, Jamie does something unthinkable. She removes his keys from the ignition, runs back into the house, and locks the front door. Now I'm like, like, what that, like, did she really do that? Open the door. I'm banging on the door, pleading for her to let me in. Get away from me. So at this point, I'm starting to feel sick and a little wheezy. So I take my shirt off to try to stop the bleeding. And I'm banging on the door, begging her. Oh, 
please, please, open. I'm gonna die out here. I'm gonna die out here. And she's standing behind the door, and she's like, F you, I hope you die, F you. Open the door! And then what felt like a lifetime, for whatever reason, she decides to open up the door. You take your own damn car. You take your own As for Jamie, she says she had a very good reason for locking her bleeding husband out of the house. And he came back inside, and every time he would come, I thought he was coming. Like, for me. You thought he was coming back at you? Yes, 100%. By now, Charlie's lost a lot of blood. I grabbed the keys to my truck, which was a 96 Ford Ranger manual steering stick, and I drive myself to the hospital. Somehow, he makes it to the hospital before going into shock. I lost four and a half pints of blood. Oh. Your body holds seven. I basically died. I bled out. So you stayed in the house. My children were in there. I had to. I'm not leaving my kids. 